This is a review or disassembly of this Surefire M900 clone. This is not an actual Surefire. I picked this up online for about $74. I thought people might be interested in seeing how it's made. Uh, having a little bit of experience with the actual Surefire model, I can make some comparisons to that and this. Uh, right off the bat, I'll tell you this is a very, very nice light. Uh, it's up to you if you want to trust your life to it or not, but it's still a very nice light. It takes three lithium batteries, a standard CR123 batteries. It's a very nice features here. It's uh, LED operated. It's got your pressure switch on the side here. It's going to have a constant on by rotating this knob and it's got your little navy lights. I'm going to break this down piece by piece. First, pressure switch on both sides works pretty well. There's an on and off switch in the bottom. And your crown, we're going to have your LED light. Very bright, yet very narrow beam. Uh, I don't know if the actual uh, Surefire one is as narrow. The one I'm seeing before is the incandescent model, so this is the LED model. On the very top of it, you can have your attachment system. Now, the actual Surefire uses throw levers instead of these knobs. I put this on a weapon. It seemed to work just fine. It's a personal choice. You could easily pull this part off and put some kind of throw lever system on there if you like. This is metal in here. This is metal here. This is plastic. Aluminum, I'm assuming, some type of metal base. Uh, rubber, petri uh, switch. This is going to be plastic. When I got this, there's a little bit of rust here on this, and there's more rust within the crown. I'll show you that. These are just these little caps for your navy lights. Take that off of there. On the very back is an intermittent button. You push this, your navy lights activate. It's just these two little LEDs in the front. The base, this is one thing that kind of cheapens it here. This little, little uh, oh, lever, this is designed to hold this in place so it doesn't spin freely. On the actual Surefire, this is going to be spring-loaded so it goes back by itself. Here it just kind of flops back and forth. Not a big deal. This hasn't come loose on its own yet. So you unscrew your battery cap. And you have three batteries inside. Does not come with the batteries. These are user provided. Inside this plastic housing, there's going to be a metal compartment for your batteries. And this matches up nicely. It doesn't feel too gritty. It feels pretty smooth. On the actual Surefire, there's an O-ring on here. This one does not have one. I'm sure you can go to the local hardware store and buy one. The yeah, on-off switch. Not as nice as the one on the Surefire. The Surefire one has a positive click one way or the other. This one just kind of floats freely. Kind of cheap here. You take this little ring off. What stops it is this little screw. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a little tiny screw in here. And the little tiny screw lines up to this gap here on this plastic switch. And then all the switch does makes these two connections in here. It's simple. It's effective. This is metal as well. Going back to the light itself. Taking the crown off. feels much lighter. This little piece comes out. And this was a little disturbing. Here's your LED component, your LED light. You have your springs here. This is completely rusty right here. Uh, this is how I got it, completely rusty. Let me if I can zoom in on that and show you. This inner spring right here. I mean, it's not breaking apart, but it's still it's rusty, so I'm not sure how they got rusty. It just got that way when I got it here. Inside, nothing fantastic about that, just some connections. A little bit of dirt, probably some rust residue. 
pretty much it. Uh, I thought there were some manufacturing defects when I looked here and I saw how this wasn't lined up. Let me show you that. Focus. I saw this one up at an angle and I thought that just must be some cheap workmanship. Well, I looked at the actual Surefire, same thing, goes up at a little angle. So I'm not sure what the purpose is for that. No big deal, it's just a molded piece of plastic. Feels good with the gun, feels nice and solid. Haven't had it break off yet. Uh, I don't have any problem with it. For 74 bucks, you really can't go wrong if you're airsofting or if you're just tinkering in your backyard or for home defense. For police military use, you know, you can spend the five or six hundred bucks and get the Surefire. Uh, I just, this is a great little device for just home defense or uh, tinkering. I put this on my son's little uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 1522. He loves it to death. It's a, it's a great little light. I'll tell you this, this assembly will work on uh, an M900 that has an incandescent light. But what happens is, because of the size of this, the, the Surefire doesn't have the same kind of hollow cylinder on it, so this didn't fit right. It just kind of rested on top going this way. It did work, but it seemed kind of wobbly. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to buy just this just to replace that component of it, but it does work. And the batteries and everything, it lit up just fine. Just for a quick review, uh, any comments or questions, put it on the site. Thanks.